over the years, we have learned about Benedictine in Ridgely. It is what we consider one of Delmarva's gems, a program that supports the differently abled here on Delmarva and helps them succeed in all aspects of life. But as you can probably imagine, obstacle after obstacle after obstacle has come up in light of COVID-19. Still, the Benedictine team is doing what it does and making it work. With us this afternoon is Scott Evans. Scott is Benedictine's executive director. Scott, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So for I know there's a few that may not understand yet. Explain real quick what Benedictine's mission is. So Benedictine's mission is to help children and adults with developmental and intellectual disabilities achieve their greatest potential. Uh, we work with about 65 adults in community group homes and have about 50 students here on campus under 21 with disabilities that we take care of. And it's amazing to me that you cater to each one individually. It's not a one size fits all. No, uh, just like you and I are different. Everyone we work with is a little different and our program adapts accordingly. And, you know, we think that's what's unique one of the unique aspects of Benedictine. And, and even during this t challenging time, we, we continue to try to cater our program as best we can to the needs of the children and the adults in our program. You know, I was gonna say, uh, with all of that in mind, I know that COVID-19 has thrown some obstacles at you. Um, how, you. how has that worked out? Uh, the staff here have been amazing. Uh, we have approximately 440 staff here and about 85 to 90 percent of those are working directly with our students and adults 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, you know, when when this pandemic hit, we had to ramp up pretty quickly uh, to meet the requirements of the government and, and to shut things down and shelter in place. Uh, we've always planned for a shelter in place, but more related to you know a snowstorm or a couple days. And we're 10 weeks into this now. Uh, and the staff have been wholly focused on the best interest of the students and adults and have continued to show up and, and, and do their job and, and fulfill our mission, which has been amazing. Can, can you share with us any of the protocols that you had to put in place so that Benedictine doesn't miss a beat? Yeah, so from the very beginning, you know, PPE was a challenge and we were able to uh, reconfigure our graphics department who started making cloth masks for us. Uh, our families were reaching out to people they knew to get uh, N95 masks and, and other uh, PPE uh, materials for us. So we were able to actually, we were lucky to ramp up pretty quick. Uh, and then we, you know, as we've gone on, we've used outside uh, cleaning services to come in and sanitize our, our homes and our campus, uh, put more new cleaning protocols, visitation policies, in place, uh, everyone has to wear a mask. Uh, we do more of this, Zoom. Uh, you know, reduced our, our census here on campus and number of staff who come in on a daily basis and do more remote work. Uh, it was, to be honest, a whirlwind at the very beginning, but we had a team that met every day, developed the new policies and protocols and, and have, have done amazing work. Yeah, I, you've already mentioned how much your team means to you. I'm sure they mean as much to the people you serve and to their families as well. What can we as a community do to serve Benedictine? Uh, there, there's numerous ways. If you if you go on our website, um, there's ways that you can www.benschool.org. Um, through that, you can... Uh, give donations. Uh, right now we're, we're taking donations of not only uh, dollars, but also materials. Uh, we, we need things like the PPE, uh, but also other items uh, to keep folks busy, like, uh, you know, board games and, and things to play outside. We're, we're able to go outside a little bit more. Um, you know, trying to keep our folks busy uh, as best we can in the midst of the COVID-19. Scott Evans, Executive Director of Benedictine, thank you so much for what you do so well. No, and thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Our pleasure.